Hi, my name is Sam Post. I'm a candidate for the Rowan County Commission. And um, not because I want to win. I just made a little video here and I want to show it to you. I think it will probably lose me votes, which is fine with me. I don't care. I don't want to be a county commissioner, but I do want to bring some attention to the fact that our schools here are not doing very well at all. Compared to all the counties around us, which are Davidson, Davie, Cabarrus, Iredell, and Stanley, those are the counties that border Rowan County. If you look at, uh, according to the U.S. News and World Report, if you look at 12th grade reading scores, Rowan is the worst out of six counties. And if you look at math scores with all the surrounding counties, we also rank last. Now, the county commissioners, their biggest budget item is education. Do they ever talk about education? Not much. What do they talk about? Now, they do talk about business quite a bit and tax incentives to attract businesses here, economic development, and that's a great thing. I mean, we need businesses here. I own a business. I'm not anti-business. I want people to have jobs and I want them to come shop in my business. Um, but most of these jobs that they're creating with these tax incentives are warehouse jobs. They are like Chewy and uh, Macy's warehouse jobs. That's important. All work is honorable. We can't all be doctors. I can't be a doctor, but they're not attracting tech jobs. They're not attracting tech companies um, and they never will. Great companies want good schools for their employees to send their kids to. And they look for places that value education and talk about spending money on education, not bragging about not spending money on education. Years ago, Rowan County had good public schools. In the 50s, the VA hospital, the biggest in the state, located in Rowan County. And um, I'm sure they looked at the school system. That was probably one of the factors for locating here. Um, but that's not, that, those kind of jobs aren't going to be coming here now. Not if we don't compete in education. They also have a tendency to talk about prayer. They spend a lot more time talking about prayer than they do the performance of the school system, which they are responsible for funding. It's the tradition of this board that we start off with a couple of things. We're going to have a prayer from our uh, chaplain, Chaplain Taylor, if you want to make your way up. This uh, for our audience is called a solemnizing prayer, and uh, it is held at the beginning of the meeting. It's for the commissioners. It's not for you. You're welcome to listen along if you like. Now, a few years ago, some people in Rowan County, uh, along with the ACLU, sued the county commission for the way they prayed at the meetings. They were asking them to, to pray in a more inclusive way, and they just refused. And so they went to court. And they appealed and they appealed and they appealed it to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court wouldn't hear the case. And um, they spent $285,000 doing that and they lost, but they keep praying the same way. They found a loophole, they found a workaround. This uh, for our audience is called a solemnizing prayer. Prayer is quite important to them and it costs the citizens a lot of money and it embarrassed our county. And uh, I mean, it made national news. Now, the point of the lawsuit was that people had to stand and pray in Jesus' name. And the court said that's not going to work. So what they do now is that they, um, they say, well, we're going to have a prayer, and then we're going to have the Pledge of Allegiance. So everybody stands up. God bless them for them tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> So what's the difference? But the point was, it made some people uncomfortable to have to stand and pray in Jesus' name because some of the people there were not Christian. Now, I am not Christian also, and it doesn't really bother me at all. I mean, it, I, I've lived here my whole life. Praying in Jesus' name does not bother me at all. I respect Christianity. I'm fine. I know it's the majority religion here, and, you know, I, I can deal with it. But some people couldn't. And those people need to be respect, respected also. And that was the whole thing about that lawsuit. And they're not complying at all. 
And it's not a matter of complying with the lawsuit either. And, you know, they obeying the law about that. A lot of people break that law. However, people were asking for some respect. There were people, citizens of Rowan County were asking for something. And they say, no, this prayer is for us and deal with it. And if you don't want to stand up, don't. But does anybody really feel comfortable at a meeting doing that? Now, all five of the current serving county commissioners voted to spend that $285,000 to appeal that case. So my, and now they're clearly violating the court, the spirit of the law. My question would be, if this is a solemnizing prayer meant only for the commissioners and for no one else, couldn't they do that either in their house, in the office, in the car? Do they really have to have an audience if the prayer is just for them? If they are going to communicate with God for wisdom and ask God for wisdom when they discuss these matters, do they need everybody to watch? And if they do have an audience while they pray, is that really obeying the law? And is it really praying? Is that really prayer? I don't really think it is. I think it's politics.